All right, so so Kat really you know, set this thing up well for what we're trying to do here. This really is about the rationale. And the rationale it, it really includes the history of nutrition in health clubs, gyms, whatever you want to, whatever title you want for the facility. So I'll, I'll definitely do that first because that sets up the whole purpose of having nutrition in clubs. And then what do we do different? You know, what is it special? Why do, you know, all the biggest, largest, you know, billion dollar organizations hook up with us rather than letting people go to the stores and buy stuff. And so that's an important thing because you become part of that group now. And then finally, this is a lecture that I do globally, uh, literally globally everywhere uh, about the future of fitness. Number one question I'm asked, whether it's a talk show or whether it's a radio show or any of those type of things, it's always going to be, what do you, how do you see the future of fitness? Where are we? Where are we going to end up? And especially now since what's happened, you know, with the, the viral spread around the world and so forth. And it, it, that the same answer, uh, surprisingly enough, 15, 20 years ago is, is, is now the real answer today. So that and how you fit into all that is going to be very important in your careers and your business careers and your family life all the way around. <clears throat> so this, that's a big part. That'll be the fun part at the end. All right, so let's get into the beginning. Let's start, the, <clears throat> let's start where it all started. What did gyms historically sell? Well, well, very quickly to kind of set this up, going all the way back to the 19th century is when we first started having the facilities for people to go and exercise. And that's what they were. They were a place that was full of the stuff that people needed to exercise. All the way up to about 1960, it was really like that. But the, the difference is, is that what the majority of people now that join gyms don't understand, and the many people don't, also don't understand, is that exercise does not build muscle. It does not increase performance. It only tears down your performance and it only breaks down muscle. And that was the, that was the misconception that people had. They thought they would go to a gym, exercise, do whatever they want. And when they left the gym, everything's going to be okay. Well, obviously, you don't eat, you eventually shrink and die, you know, so... These the, the reason we had no problems back then, there was a, <clears throat> very few gyms, and the only members were basically male, a few female, but not that many athletes, which and their whole lives were eating. They knew exactly what to do when they left the gym. They planned their meals out to a T, everything, so they supported everything that happened in the gym. No results left in the gym. They were all taken care of. So exercise, yes, it sets the stage. It's the trigger event for what we want to happen next in the body. But nutrition makes the movie. Bad nutrition, bad movie. Same nutrition, same movie. You come to a plateau. So again, that was all, that's what we didn't get when we opened the doors to the world. And by the way, that's what communities still think. They still think that there's something in there that's going to make me look the way I want to look. All right. Well, you got a, a small, very small part of the equation, right? Yes, we need to exercise. No question about that. But the last part of it is, is a problem. So we open the doors to let the world in. This is back in the 60s now, even late 50s, a little bit more 60s, 70s. It really blew up just as the world was getting fat. Because don't forget, the only goals back in this day was mus muscle building and performance. So we had 100 percent success rate. So we opened it up right when the gyms were getting fat. And you, these are all the numbers that you already know about. So the new gym, so the bottom line is, it was great for us. Memberships expanded. So gyms expanded everywhere, right? But they all had different goals. 70%, we started taking these polls back in 1982. 70% of the people that joined a gym, number one reason they joined the gym was weight or fat loss. 20% still had a muscle performance gain, but they didn't want to gain fat. So they wanted, they wanted the rest of it to be supported, which you obviously need proper nutrition. And then 10% said they actually, health was number one, but body fat was number two. So you end up with a 70 to 90% basically for fat loss. Well, guess what's not going to work? What we now left to the member that was never left to the member back in the old days led to the horrific attrition rates that health clubs have. The failure rates, for those of you that don't know, good number for you here. For those of you who don't know, health clubs, gyms, have the highest failure rate of any gym, any business in the world. Think about that for a minute. The highest failure rate of any business in the world. Now, in our defense, we sell shit people don't want to do. So I, I get that. They try it. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, my body didn't change after my first workout. Really? 
you know, so the bottom line, that's what happens. And that's because there is no instant gratification. Exercise is way too slow, way too slow to solve the problem they came in for. The majority of members. We're not talking about people that are addicted to exercise like you and me. We use that. We do use it as a place to work out. That's a tiny, tiny percentage of people that join a gym. It's not like when you go to and get your, you go to a beauty parlor, right? Your hairstyles. You spend 300 bucks in three hours or whatever it is. And you walk out going, yes, worth every dollar I paid. You look great. You feel good. Everything. <coughs> well, guess what? That's instant gratification. That's willing to pay that. Yeah, that'll buy a whole year's gym memberships in a lot of places. But you're, 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 you're going to end up because you don't get the instant gratification. So we had to solve for that. So before you solve for something, you have to find the problem before you can create a solution. But little did we know we had the wrong solution, but then of course we figured out, okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's find out what doesn't work. Now there's hundreds, hundreds thousands of studies that actually pit <clears throat> exercise for weight loss versus diet alone for weight loss. So remember that exercise alone versus diet alone. Well, here's how exercise alone works. Hundreds of studies and, and not one has ever shown that anybody loses weight from exercise alone, no, not one. So keep this in mind. This is the most recent meta-analysis, which is a compilation of you know, tens, 20, 30 different studies. We followed 34,000 exercisers for 13 years. An exercise was defined of five days a week, 60 minutes, which is well over the recommended amount you know, for proper health. Guess what? We followed them for 13 years and the average person gained six pounds. So I'm joining a gym. <clears throat> And I want to lose weight. And I'm working out. And you know, obviously, we know why our attrition rates became so ridiculous. This just isn't happening. Now, these people are much healthier than non-exercisers. The other good news here, the non-exerciser probably gained 15 pounds during this period. And they were not as healthy. But that's not why these people joined the gym. So, of course, they're going to leave. We actually looked at a subset of this group. 13% performed seven days a week of exercise. And they still gained weight. A little bit less, but they still gain. So we knew, obviously, this is not the solution. But what also doesn't work, so in our defense, diet alone. If you look at all the diet centers that popped up, all the most famous ones that you see, all the advertisements you're seeing now, especially in the new year, um, you look at all, they started in the late 60s and the 70s as the world was getting fat. Well, here's the problem with that. 80 to 90% in the first year will gain it all back. 95% will gain it all back in within five years. Okay, so that's the that's a horrific success rate as well, long term. Short term, yes, easy to lose weight. Easiest thing to do is cut out a 600 calorie uh, chocolate mocha from Starbucks versus doing two hours of cardio. Okay, and we know that that's just you know simple math. But the problem is when you do it by diet alone, you create a weaker structure. It would be wonderful if you cut your calories and all you lost was body fat. And that's the misnomer. That's the misconception people have. Your body's obviously going to get rid of what uses the calories in the first place, which is your lean body mass, your muscle, your organs, your bone, all of these things that need calories to continue to, to stay the size they need to, to propel you and keep you strong. They are now being shrunk because you're not feeding it. So you've created a weaker structure and guess what? So now you're starting, now you just smell food and get fat. You're burning far less calories. You can't sustain the diet. Everything bad is happening to this person. And we all know who they are, right? All of us, you've got a weaker structure that is now susceptible to rebound all the way. What else doesn't work? Dietary supplements alone. You can't just eat what you want. You know, don't work out and take a pill that you see advertised on an infomercial even if it's a powerful thing, you're still not going to get there. Okay, you got the same issues. Now, the, the exception to this rule are uh, protein-based meal replacements, without a doubt, which is one of the big reasons. It's the number one solution for weight control. You will actually, you know, lose weight. They've been proven effective alone, but you've still got the same issue if you don't exercise, right? You got you got an issue there. You're not you're not going to be as strong internally all the way around. So the bottom line is, we found out what doesn't doesn't work. But so it was really simple to see what did work. What does work? And when you're living in the athletic world, I was fortunate enough to make a living as an athlete uh, and all the people around us, you know, that, that did. Well, guess what? We, we knew what worked. 
all of it if you do it right. So in the gym business, we have a very tight window. So when someone write this down, we have a very short window, almost like the beauty parlor to get them hooked on fitness. Right. So what we had to do is make sure they would do the last the 23 hours they were not with us a day. We made sure they had a diet plan, some sort of a diet plan with flexibility. They could eat whatever you want within the right calories that matched your goal, including time frame. You got to lose 30 pounds in 12 weeks. Done deal. Here are the amount of calories you're allowed. Here's your sample and just have that all together. So at least they had a roadmap. And we, we impressed the importance that we meet with them once a week to make sure that they got they were you know, following that. Exercise, I wasn't worried about that. They were in the gym. So we had that covered. <laughs> they had that covered before they came in. That's why they joined the gym. And that, of course, is for your overall body composition health, right? Including maintaining that. So that was done. And then evidence-based supplements. In other words, you're not going to go out and buy your own supplements. Not, half the stuff you buy in the mass market doesn't work or you don't even know if it works, right? Or could be dangerous. So we knew what would, so we, we, we knew that we could ease and speed the journey because exercise doesn't make you feel better the next day. It actually makes you feel worse generally. We wanted to know, I can make you feel better in the first day by giving you a supplement, make you feel better. You'd have more energy. And then over time, you're going to have faster results and we can feed your lean body mass. So when you go through a weight loss program, you're not losing muscle. So we're going to give you nutrients, Mrs. Jones with little to no calories, Mr. Jones, little to no calories to feed your muscle while we start fat. Those were the magic words. And everybody was in. That was a done deal. So then that would add up our, to our goal of a quicker addiction to fitness, thus us. And we were able to build the biggest brands in the world off that. I'll give you a little timeline in a minute. So here's how I would start every lecture. So I'm doing a grand opening for a gym. You got a thousand people in the audience. No one signed up yet. I would just start the lecture like this. If you're trying to make a change in your body composition, you're not seeing it every week, and feeling better every day, you're doing something wrong. Bingo. You got a thousand people signing up that day. So we built this all into a program to make sure that our trainers were competent to deliver something simple. Something, so we had to put it in their scope of practice, which means it'd be simple. It's all written by our dietitians, all blessed by all the different states. I spent $10 million and literally 10 years and $10 million getting it into the scope of practice of trainers. And so that's what we did. So our trainers, you, all of you that have gone through the simple five-hour online certification, puts this program in your scope of practice. And this is the only one in the world that is in the scope of practice or trainer. So you are giving a legitimate, not just a handout for nutrition, all, all, all of our trainers do, but it's also, it also is a true dietary supplement recommendation. Not like the, not like the person at GNC or the person at, I'm not knocking the stores, but the person at CVS or anything just say, okay, they don't make a legitimate dietary supplement recommendation. I don't know anything about it. You guys have gone through a course that makes your recommendation legitimate, which means that if you're, make, if you're suggesting it, it's going to work. That's simple. And by the way, this certification is so powerful. Dietitians use this for their dietary supplement CECs. That's how well it is. And that's the credibility behind this whole thing. So keep that in mind. This gives you the business and consumer confidence when using this. So this is what it is. We, we built this ever evolving because, you know, it was very simple. It wasn't that we would write it out by pencil and paper back in the early 80s. And then we and then, of course, when we started computerizing things, we added it, you know, and it just evolved since then. So it's a one stop shop for any goal, any device. And it's client and fit pro eccentric. So your clients can do it by themselves if necessary, but you can see everything they're doing. It's a, you know, a, a two-way mirror. That's what you've got. And you set, you can set them up. They can set themselves up, whatever, but at least they have that roadmap and it's integrated. So it's got all three of the things we talked about. It's got, you know, the reference menus at the right calories for their goal and time frame. We continually upgrade. It's got the vegan and gluten-free nowadays. It does have a workout builder, but you probably have your own. Do whatever you want on that but at least it's got one. Of course, NESM is that company that was my company for so many years. Uh, so we put all, all those in there if you want to use it. That's up to you. And then we've got, of course, the third-party tested uh, supplements that are integrated into all this. So you have that integrated play and it works from any device. Keep that in mind. And you can use it all from your phone, all of it, or, or part of it, whatever you want to use. doesn't matter. It just gives you the credibility that you need to be able to do what you need to do. So I'll give you a quick timeline. We added nutrition starting in the 80, 1980, 1981, I think it was, mm. to our DNA and the brands that we own and operate. And we broke tradition to power and empire. And we we're built to expand, which will lead you to the 
fun part as we get to the end. We have an ecosystem that will support the future of fitness, which may not be surprising to you anymore what it was, but it was very surprising to people and it's coming to fruition right now and you wanna be in the right place. So we'll get to that in a second. But let me just take you through the timeline. Yes, it all started back when I was a competitive bodybuilder. I competed for almost 20 years and I started here uh, and I started with the Gold's Gym. There was one Gold's Gym, it was Venice. Of course, the most famous gym in the world. And they brought me on when they were opening the second one in San Francisco and said, hey, listen, we see you're doing this nutrition stuff around the world. I want to use lectures. And how would you like to uh, create a nutrition program for us? We're going to open gyms all over the world. We only have one, but we're going to do them all. And we want to uh, do something different. And I said, well, of course I'm in. So I was fortunate enough to be part of that grade eight that, that kind of launched that brand. You saw this picture of me, which was taken this morning. Uh, now, you know, I, my wife says uh, I'm half the man she married. Uh, this is me at 265. But it was, this would set, hang out in front of every new goals gym opening up around the world. Uh, no matter where it was that was there, it would tell me I was coming and I would kick it off and we'd do a grand opening and the rest of the rest is history. We built the biggest, most well-known brand in the world and no, nothing's even close to that. And it wasn't me, it was the guys behind me. I was just fortunate to be a part of that. And the nutrition was a big part of what we did different. By 1988, we had so many gyms at that point, and we, we turned it the, the nutrition program into a computerized program called Nutrition Analysis. Uh, now, I retired from bodybuilding right around 1990, and at that time, I, you know, I'd already committed to save the world through fitness because it saved my life. It took me out of gang life, and it took me you know, to a different place, and so I said, I'm going to save the world with fitness. So I, I, I couldn't do that in one brand, so I, I started Apex and was fortunate enough to grow that into uh, you know, a worldwide powerhouse. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, or alluded to uh, NESM, uh, the reason I bought NESM and built it was because trainers didn't have any credibility back in my day. And if I'm going to save the world, I need to bring credibility to trainers because we're not going to do it um, in seven different disciplines. We need one that can take care of people's health while they have it. So I bought NESM and then I bought three other companies, a physical uh, therapy company and a sports rehab company and a sports performance company. We merged them all together to build what you know today is the largest, most powerful uh, certification company, whether it be sports, whether it be uh, you know, corrective exercise or whether it just be certifications for trainers. But it gave credibility. And now your top 10, 15 trainers uh, certifications are all they had to chase us because you know, we set the bar so high. Because back in my day, the only credibility you needed, you were the biggest guy in the room and you got all the clients. Well, that's not going to save the world. So that was the whole purpose of me buying this and building it into what the powerhouse of this day. And now all the other certifications are fantastic. So I'm not, I'm going to be biased, obviously, but they're all good. You should be proud of them. But that set the bar. Uh, and, and during this time frame, also, all this is going on. Uh, Mark Mastro, my partner to this day and will always be my partner. Um, started forming 24-Hour Fitness, and we merged Apex and Into It, and we set a whole new standard where trainers were now now given in their scope of practice everything they needed to do to give people the whole solution. And when we sold that, you should, you should know we sold that for a 1.68 billion dollars, and 700 million was the nutrition component. So if you're doing a business, you're missing a big situation if you don't activate nutrition and use it. A lot of places have say they have it, but they don't use it. During that period, the body bug, I'm sure most of you remember this, you know, we were part of the biggest loser. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to, uh, all the biggest losers, once we selected the contestants, uh, we would wire them with the body bug, which was my creation there. And I actually won the biggest accolade of my life, certainly what was new in the United States, the best of what's new in health back then. And that started the whole business, you know, today, the Fitbits of the world, the Nikes, all the Apple watches, everything that started it right there, you know, thanks to the biggest loser, seeing it on there and launching that whole activity monitoring device. Here's where you are today, Dot Fit. After we sold 24, back in 2005, our no competes were up, we started Dot Fit. So there's nothing more than an evolution of everything we just talked about, but it's prepared for the future, which is the part uh, that is most important and today. So we drive all the biggest brands, including all pro teams, college, you know, the pro, the pro organizations and, you know, Again, these multi multi million billion dollar organizations, and this is kind of where we are today. A couple of more certifications we got in there, and NASM still sort of leading the pack. So there it is. There's the thing, and that's how nutrition played the role in this uh, sort of empire we've been able to co contribute to. But more importantly, is it's it's what's going to happen in the future here. So here's where we are today. 
There's over 1,500 facilities that are powered by DotFit that have them in there, a little more than that, probably more than 2,000. I have to change this in a while. 40,000 of you have been certified, obviously, in millions of households. But here's your bragging rights. This is important for trainers. You'd be surprised. Largest provider of third-party tested nutrition programs and products in the entire sport and fitness channels. That includes college and pro sports. So keep that in mind. And there's just a little smattering of some. I'm hopefully one of your teams that we have, you know, well over 200 college and pro teams, probably about more like 300 that we support. And that doesn't even include the players, individual players. We go through their ages for all of that. So here's just a little sampling of what we do for college and pro sports. This is from our local area here. Uh, so you end up with, uh, if we, they have actually their own, like you will, you have your own .fit website. We actually, they actually just put it on their website. So you can see up here, they have the same things that will be on whatever tools and all this. And then the players uh, and their families can buy from a private store up here, NSF certified for sports stuff for the players. The families can buy everything, of course, and they get them like, like you would as a gym, you get it at wholesale. Uh, not, not that they needed it that, but at least they're, you know, they, they pay for everything all the way around. And this just shows you a little example of some of those. And we do, so you know, most of the teams will have, build their own websites for their, their supplements. And that's why, so why do they pick us? So now we get down to the second part here and that's the dot fit difference. So why do these organizations go with this? And again, a good reason that, that supports why you're going with us. The first thing we did on the supplement side, going back to the beginning, we didn't want to get the supplement business. Why would you want to do that? It's ugly, right? It, 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 big parts of it, but it's a necessary evil. You have to do it if you want to live a longer, better life. You've got to fill your gaps. If you want to improve performance faster than without 100% of athlete supplements. So we already knew all that, all right? But we had to distance ourselves from consumer channels. That was the big play. Get away, make sure we're not part of the consumer stuff. So we're never in the headlines, like you see. But we also knew that 85%, this goes back a long way, back to, two, we did this study in 2003, we knew that 85% of our gym members, probably more like 95 now, were buying $50 a month in supplements somewhere else, a very high percentage of gym members. Well, why wouldn't they get it from us and get the right stuff that works? So at a very minimum, do the math on that in your members, okay? All right. We, our goal is to save our families as well and our clients from themselves, especially when the internet came out. Because if you have enough money in marketing, you can sell crap because people will buy it because it sounds good. They buy the story, not the product until they find out it doesn't work or makes them sick or whatever. But that's pretty late in the game. So we had to save our families and their clients from themselves and from multi-level marketing, especially. That was all over the place back in the day. So here's just some facts that will bolster what we're saying here. The consumers, they, they don't know what they're buying. What do you think? Mr. and Mrs. Jones looks at a label of like an antioxidant, goes, lutein, zeaxanthin, oh, alpha lipoic acid. Okay, yeah, I need uh, 200 milligrams of that a day. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I know I need five milligrams of zeaxanthin a day to protect my eyes and my skin. Uh, I, they have no clue. They might know the name. They do know the name. So that's why they're buying it. But the manufacturers knows they don't know how much you need in it. So they underperform. And they don't clean them. In other words, when the FDA inspected these 600 facilities, which was a tiny percentage, over 50% violated uh, good manufacturing practice. I mean, they're not testing the raw material. So they're heavy and heavy metals, right? They got lead, cadmium, all the things you're supposed to clean before you make the product when they come in. All those bad things that if you're taking a product over time, you're going to have some problems. So, and again, these are some basic stuff. All of these links are live. So if you need anything on there, just click it on and you'll find everything you need to know about all these facts that are right here in front of you. All right. So again, and they would spike their supplements with medications, illegal drugs, steroids. You just saw well, a couple of big companies just went down for spiking their supplements with steroids. All right. So this is now, now you get why many scientists and health professionals discourage the use of supplements that's commercial uses because they all use themselves. That's for sure. It'd be hard, hard to find any. So just say no. Tell your clients, tell your family members, just say no to the mass market. That's the, re that's the goal. Here's a couple of examples. Some underformulated, biggest, biggest companies in the world, Bayer makes these, right? 
that's a drug company, right? The make biggest, one of the biggest in the world. They make these two multis. They were sued for under formulation for exactly what I just told you. They would put stuff in there that wasn't enough for a small mouse, let alone a human being. But no one knows what those doses are. The bigger ones were the proteins. So for any of you that were buying a protein in the mass market, whether it be CVS, Costco, uh, GNC, bodybuilding.com, any of them, I'm not blaming the companies because they're just carrying the stuff you were getting hoodwinked. For five or six years, these proteins that were claiming 25 grams of protein or 24 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, they were actually the opposite. Two grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs. You were getting white rice. They were pro what they call protein spiking. Anything you need, click on that link. It'll give you all these facts that we're talking about today. Look at these, so this is an example. These are just under, uh, under formulated. This is the mass market, remember, the mass market, they compete on price, which means they're going to compromise something so they can beat the guy sitting next to them on the shelf because they don't have you to talk to them of why you shouldn't buy that. Look at these are the biggest names in the business. Here's what they claim in the branch chain amount in their protein powders. These are the biggest names in the business. And there's the delta in the red and the actual. Pretty bad. And again, there's a, some, some had none. So check this out. These are the big names here, zero protein. Yeah, and that's going to happen again. So I, I, I mentioned earlier, one of, my, one of my sons actually made it to the NFL. Um, this first letter he got after he signed with the Rams, and it was this. It was uh, here, you have to stay away from GNC. No players are allowed. So well, why would we allow any of our customers to even go there? I mean, what makes so special about an NFL guy, right? So again, it should be the same standard for everybody. All right, so on that note, what do we do different? So why is it that you can be proud of what you're doing and you're not just proud of it, but make a difference in a person's life? Yes, we all, no one argues the fact that we need a supplement. We don't just accidentally get the stuff we need to make us the best we can be, you know, by eating stuff. It's sort of comical that anybody can get to that place. But the point is, yes, how do you make it so it works and you only get the benefits? So we follow what's called practitioner product status rules, right? And there are very few, you know, again, you can't advertise, you can't market, you put all your money into the formulations, obviously, that's the difference, because it's quite different world that you live in. First of all, the number one thing is, you got to prove, and then I got a big question here and see who gets the answer after, and you surprised, I'll send you a gift. So at the takeaway on this. So you've got to prove, number one thing you've got to do is prove that the dosage and forms are matched to clinical trials. You have to submit that now to a, a scientific body. So the dosages and the forms have, have matched into third party, not our clinical trials, other ones on each ingredient. That ingredient made this difference. Here's the dosage and form that didn't make a difference. Here's the ones that did. And then you put that into what we call a peer reviewed document. And then and that's what you guys have. And that's your practitioner dietary supplement reference guide. I mean, literally one product will have 40 pages, a thousand references, and you have everything that supports that. The second part of it is, is it safe? Well, obviously, if you meet the first criteria, then we know that it's going to be safe, not just from the clinical trials that we looked at, but it's also been in the food supply for many years and no one died. But the second part that no one does, no one, is the screening. In other words, that first little questionnaire you come to on our screen is screening you for some people shouldn't have this particular supplement or that particular supplement. And if you're taking two or three different ones that have the same ingredients to a certain extent, are you getting too much of it? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Jones goes to a GNC or goes to a, a retailer and just picks two or three different products, and they don't even know that the ingredients are crossing over, and they could be past what we call the upper limit. Never happened in our world. We have an inner, we have an ingredient synergy, so you re always remain in a safe, optimal range. Now, the other part, because all of our facilities are not just they're, they're NSF certified for sport, but they're also the NSF certification means that they are regularly audited. They come in and they check all their records that every single raw material was tested when it arrived, put into quarantine, and before it was put into a batch was tested, was tested to make sure it's pure from heavy metals and clean all the way around. It's too expensive for you if you're going to sell in the mass market to do that. And then the bigger one, what we do also is nutrient, nutrient delivery, creating the format of the product. So in other words, is it a capsule? Is it a tablet? Is it a powder? Okay, what format does it be to get to the target tissues? If I want your vitamins and minerals released over time, then what am I going to put that in? If I want something delivered immediately, what am I going to put that in to get to the target tissues? So again, nutrient delivery. 
and then truth and labeling. Obviously, you can't have truth and labeling, although other companies certainly didn't because they did not prove that all this stuff was the right number. Now, then you third party test it to make it work. So here comes your takeaway. You need two things. One, you've got to prove that the dosage and forms are correct that match the positive clinical trials. Document that, write it out. That's your formula now. Then you submit that to the manufacturer. Manufacturer makes it, and then you third-party test to make sure they made it right. Well, see, here's where the whole world goes wrong. This is how we end up signing up all the NFL teams. Because there's tons of people who will third-party test stuff. Oh, yeah, we third-party test. You know, players buy our stuff. Okay. Now show me what your third-party testing. So watch it. Uh, we have a well, two-minute, three-minute video on this, so it'd be fun for you to watch. Okay. It, okay. I can third-party test a branch chain with one gram of leucine which is enough for a small newborn mouse to maybe make a difference after they exercise. For a human being, it's useless. But I third party test it and it says on the label, one gram of leucine and one gram of leucine is in there. So it doesn't, you, you have to have both things. Someone remember that. One, documentation, that that's the right dosage of form. And then two, that you documented that it's actually in there. Now you have a one week formula and that's how we went over everybody. And by the way, so everything I just told you, there's three different di versions of videos of exactly the dot bit difference. The sports one that I just mentioned, the three minutes, then you got a three minute one, it's a watered down six minute one, you know, depending on your attention span. I would want everybody to watch the, the six minute one, of course, but the dot bit difference one, that, that was the one that sold all of the, uh, you know, the NFL teams that signed up with us. When they saw that, they go, okay, I, I give up because they were just going with third party tested stuff. But I mean, it works. And all the players, because I'm connected, very connected, obviously, to the players, they would come to me with their supplements that they were buying, and I just got to throw them in the garbage, and then the rest is history. All right, so now you know why you know these, these teams kind, kind of went with us. But now, with all that said, you are now prepared for the future of fitness. So here comes the fun part for me as we go through this next 20 minutes here. The future of complete evidence-based fitness you guys are now set up for once you're partners with us. And what that does, it expands your reach and careers. Limitless, as opposed to selling exercise. There's a very low ceiling when you're selling exercise because all that happens in a gym doing the same thing you are, that's a better gym than yours, got more equipment, new stuff and everything else. That's where everybody's gonna go. Just like when you open up a new nightclub next to an old nightclub. It's just one of those. So you have a very high chance of things not going right. But when you have a holistic solution with everything available and your trainer's all ready to go. You've got pretty much a, a very unlimited career potential. All right, so let's start from the beginning here about this. So, you know, when we talk about the importance of nutrition and being ready for the future, what people have missed throughout their lives now in this new, uh, like last four generations, once drugs became available in 1931, when we, had, we started prescribing drugs for anything, no matter whatever happened, I got an itch here, get a drug. Okay, you're out. You know, so, so people now think that, you know, it's medicine, okay, or medicine. Well, guess what? Medicine doesn't create health. We don't just shoot up a woman with a, sh with a shot of medicine and baby grows and it comes out, everything's cool. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, it's the opposite. Medicines can really screw up if there is a baby growing. So nutrition creates the human being. You are what you eat. Everything that came into the environment that goes in, that's ingested here is the beginning of life. And it goes into that little seed and then it begins to grow and it creates the human. So obviously that's what creates our health, not medicine. That's after the fact. Health is the domain of nutrition and activity. So here's where we all come in here in the gym. The more active you are, you open up your body to more nutrition. Your bones are stronger, your muscles are stronger, and you live a longer, more active lifetime, lifestyle. Now, of course, preaching that for years, and I know I'm preaching to the choir with you guys, but now, because of what happened here a couple of years ago, there's a brand new awareness of this, and you need to take advantage of it today. We've always taken advantage of it because we already knew it was there, but now it's just opened up. And our business has been tripled without a doubt. But do this new awareness and the dangers of pre-existing conditions being out of shape and undernourished, these are the people that are dying or getting the sickest from this virus. 
and the growing distrust in big pharma and CDC, that's what's driving the desire for self-health care. So I've been preaching self-health care forever. There's some simple, really inexpensive things you can do to keep yourself from all these bad things happening when they happen. You can't stop things from getting in you, but you can make it better when they do. So fitness is the primary preventative side of healthcare. Fitness is healthcare. We take care of people's health when they have it. We live in a disease care society after the fact, because that's what's locked in people. So it's a paradigm shift in the mind of the human that we have to fight for always. And now it's being done for us, unfortunately, what's happening. So self-health care is the future. We're, we have now arrived and we're in to help people keep doing what they love. Because I can promise you this, people would rather go to the gym than the hospital. They just need to know it ahead of time and it's happening. They'd rather take a simple supplement, dietary supplement, a dietary multivitamin mineral to fill their gaps for 30, 60 cents a day versus drugs for the rest of their life that will actually shorten their lifespan, but at least get them over that whatever problem they have then. They don't want a pillbox full of drugs. So prevention, we call it the prevention before cure. You are the prevention before cure. Fitness is healthcare, primary side. We're not taking care of any clinical issues. We're taking care of your health while you have it. Hmm. That sounds like healthcare to me. Care of health while you have it. And that's what it comes down to versus sick care, which is where we are today. So as I always like to start these lectures off, this globally, come to my come to my place. You can work with my staff now, which is the prevention before, or their staff later. Your choice, up to you, because that's the world that we're in today, and we got to get out of that. And I don't know anybody that wants to be in that world. Once you get there, you go, God, I regret all the stuff I didn't do. All right, so how am I going to save the world through fitness? Number one question I get on any, any interview, no matter what. Bottom line is, that's here it comes. How do you plan on saving the world through fitness? Well, as we just, you'll see here in, in the next couple, couple minutes here, lack of activity which we already, we've definitely found that out the hard way recently, and common unavoidable nutrient shortages. All these people that are, are, that are really sick from the viral exposure or dying from it, they're the ones that have the lowest nutrition levels in their body. And these are these underprivileged people. So they just don't have access to these things. They're overweight and they're just eating poor food. So the nutrient content of their food. And when you have all that, and they're unavoidable, some of these nutrient shortages are unavoidable. You don't know, right? They deprive the body of its full structural potential. It's just like, we, we know the more brick and mortar you have in a building, the stronger it is, the longer it's gonna last. If you're gonna build it out of straw, it's just not gonna last long. And that leads to a weaker body and mind throughout life. Thus an early onset of disease or what we call early aging. So we believe, so here's how we're gonna say, we believe being fit makes you better in every phase and aspect of life, including from the time you're in the womb, to the time you get to the tomb. Thus, you remain independent your whole life rather than taking 15, 20 family members down the last 10 years hauling you around to remain independent, which in turn would make the world a better place for everyone. But here's where you guys come in. It needs to be personalized or to fit the person or they won't do it. And that's where you come in. So forever, you will always have a place to work. I can promise you that. Grow strong to stay strong. That's our moniker, of course. That's the whole idea. Start from the very beginning. So on that note, this is that lecture I do on place band. So make sure you write that down. Well, you probably already know because it's, it's pretty well known now. But that's a coin. That's a phrase that I coined about 25 years ago. We're working with pro athletes and the, the GMs would always ask, how much longer do they have on their competitive lifespan? And I go, so their play span, I would say, is long before they can no longer compete is this, 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 this based on a, an assessment, right? Well, bottom line is the lifespan is how long you live. We know that health span was something doctors created back in the 70s when people were living longer, but way worse. So how long are you actually healthy? But play span is different. It's how long you're physically, so this is for every human being, forget about the athlete, every human being, how long you're physically, mentally able to do the activities that are important to you. So for instance, let's say you play golf and you've been playing golf your whole life and you live to be a hundred. Well, guess what? You've been following what I'm gonna show you in a minute. You get on, you're, you're, you live to be a hundred and now you're on that 18th hole of Pebble Beach and you're, you're, you're on the green and you putt it, you sink the putt and you drop dead right there in the green. 
what a perfect life. Or let's say you're a cyclist and you used to actually race cycles a little bit back in your 20s and 30s. You live to be 100. You got the cycle in the garage, but you're out there, you're independent, you get on the cycle, you can go around the block, certainly not gonna ride it like you did in the old days. You get around the block, you pull in the garage, park the bike and you drop dead right there. Bingo, the perfect life. And we have the power to do that. That's in our power to get that done for everybody. So a little backdrop to all that. We live longer, but as we just talked about, not necessarily better. And you all know that. You can see the way the old people are just, you know, they really don't have any life the last 10 years, the average person. But what people don't know, so here's kind of the thing. Our predecessors, we are, humans were not designed to live past their late teens. For three, four million years of hominids, two-legged creatures, and then as Homo sapiens last 120, 30 years. We all died in our teens, which is why women still today haven't evolved out of mincing at age 12, because you got to reproduce because you're not going to live long enough into the 20s to reproduce, and every species has to reproduce. That's just evolution. So, you know, obviously, you know, we'd be able to figure that out. So we finally did. Once we discovered the nutrition that was needed to build the human body and keep it into uh, adulthood, once we discovered that and we could figure out how to agriculture to grow it and then evolving technology to ship it to different parts of the world and get it all over the place and go get it here. And then modern medicine, it can be out of bacteria. Next thing you know, we got a whole new problem. People are living longer because we always had the potential to live longer, but you know, you just couldn't get over that hurdle. Now we have a new one. And that is our, our health span. So look at the numbers here. This is just sick. The, 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 you know, the, everybody's on drugs after age 65. You know, you have chronic diseases. Uh, you know, that you're, chronic disease means it's never going away and you're dealing with all that. So this is all, but this is almost 100% preventable. The one time, and this is where I always have issues with moms, I was a Pop Warner coach for a long time. Um, you know, I took a lot of kids off into college and everything else, coaching football, and I would have a, a parent meeting. I want every parent. So I got 28 kids on my team back in the Pop Warner days. That means I got about 50 parents out there in the audience. I go, here's the deal. You're going to, this is what you're going to do for your kid while they're playing for me. All right. To make sure they do it because moms, you get it wrong because you're nowadays you're on the internet, you're looking at stuff or your girlfriend did this, or your a guy, your guy friend did this, they lost this weight and now you're in it. And now you're trying to pass that on to your kid. So you really don't know what you're talking about. The bottom line is, but the one time you did, and almost all moms would say this to their kids when they wouldn't eat their vegetables and stuff, you are what you eat. So make sure you get what you want, what you need, what you need there. I did not, not necessarily help the kid eat vegetables, but the bottom line is that was the one time they were right. You are absolutely what you eat, but here's what you miss is this. You also become what you didn't eat. So all those things you needed, and a great example is kids. Kids that stop drinking milk because their moms did or their dads did or whatever. Kids that stop drinking milk at a very young age, like say three, four, five, or six, because milk was fortified with vitamin D. It doesn't come naturally, but it's fortified with vitamin D. They got the calcium, they got a little extra magnesium, and that's what the bones needed. Those kids fracture eight times more than kids that drank milk. Now, that's just an example. You don't need milk to get those things. There's many other ways of getting it, but if they don't, no one's figured that out, you know, unless you really knew all that. They fracture eight times more, which means they're not going to play ball anymore. They're not going to move. They're going to get overweight later on. So it starts in the beginning of life right there. And you can prevent all that when you start at the very beginning. And that's the whole point of what we're saying then. So let's start where life starts and look at it. Your vitamins and minerals are indispensable components of life and health. Every single system in your body is vitamin dependent. You get that. Your cardiovascular system, your muscular system, your, your skeletal system, your immune system, 100% vitamin dependent. They are the spark plugs that make every single thing in the body work. And when you have less, it doesn't work as well. It's not a trick math equation. It's a pretty easy one. You get less on the RDA, which is what you're supposed to get. You get less structural and functional potential. So here it is. This is right now. This is 1920. I mean, excuse me. This is 2020. This is, the, this is what people are getting from their foods today. Our gaps from foods right now today, and it's getting worse, by the way, and I'll show you that in a minute. Everyone of everyone you know that is not taking in a complete multivitamin mineral, not a mass market one, we know those are under formula, a complete, is in at least five to all of these categories, which means these are the holes in their body, period. 
And by the way, that's the beginning of the prenatal for all of you, especially any, any potential moms out there, or you remember your mom when they, when they, when they had babies. Uh, bottom line is the prenatal is nothing more than a multivitamin mineral. In a 1970, the American Medical Association, American Pediatrics, Dietetics Association made it mandatory that every prof health professional give, prescribe a multivitamin mineral called a prenatal to the conceiving mother. That single act wiped out over 30% of all major birth defects and 55% of stillborn births. Why would you ever stop taking a multivitamin? You don't come out of the womb eating better. Okay, it just gets worse as time goes on. So those gaps were filled and the structural and functional potential of the baby was improved. So again, it's just a no brainer. Now omega-3s were also part of that equation. The reason I'm throwing that in, because you're gonna see the simple inexpensive way of making sure everybody has what they need during that period. 90% fall short of recommendations that, and, with, and now you're seeing, and by the way, the prenatal, uh, uh, you know, almost everyone, when you get a prenatal, you get your multivitamin mineral and you get an omega-3. Because that third trimester of brain development, the brick and mortar of the brain development, there's a windows that you can't go back. It's just like saying, okay, I'm 35 and ain't enough protein growing up. I'm gonna see if I eat all the protein now, maybe I can get taller. It's the same thing with bone structure, cardiovascular structure. You miss that window by not having all the brick and mortar when you were there. It's, you can't go back. You can stave off the inevitable maybe a little bit because you can't go back and fix those things. But you got to start when life starts, when it gets down to it. And this just shows you the red here. That means this is the high health risk area and the whole North America is in that. Most of the countries are in there, red and orange. Now, the reason I brought that up is because now this is the world you're living in today. Exacerbating this nutrient gap problems are the human choices. These are the most popular diets around, paleo, keto, vegan, gluten-free, intermittent fasting. Well, what does that do? It eliminates entire food groups. Look at the vitamins and minerals they're missing. These are all facts. These are from Kat and her dietitians. They have this on the wall to make sure everybody fills their gaps if they're following these diets. Um, you might be losing weight, but you're losing structure and functional abilities at the same time. And, and, and you don't even know it. It's just happening slowly. You don't just feel it all of a sudden happening here. It's going to take time for it to happen, and then it's going to manifest. I'll show you a slide that shows that. But look at these. So you have to recommend these supplements to these people. They have no choice. They've got to take a multi, maybe some extra vitamin D. Uh, these people on a keto diet have to take an, an amino acid supplement. I mean, you look down here. So this makes it so easy to have a conversation. All right. People just have too many choices. And not only that, if you're trying to eat an acceptable number of calories, you just can't raise their food up or obviously they're going to be obese. And now you've offset everything. So getting, it's impossible to say, if you eat right, you don't need to, you know, fill your, it's just like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. In an acceptable number of calories, that would be impossible. And it's validated by the fact that it hasn't worked. See all these studies? It shows that not one human being has ever been able to fill all of their gaps up to the RDA with food alone. This is never going to happen. So, and all this means is what? What does this mean? All this stuff here. I mean, you could probably already figure it out, but if this is what the, your take home message from that is. This is where you lived without knowing the future. Those kids, they didn't know they were gonna fracture when they weren't getting up vitamin D, magnesium and calcium. They didn't know that, but that's where they lived because their body is functioning. You take this here. These are the insufficiencies here, right? You take that. That means the body is functioning. The vitamin minerals uh, efficiency is 60 to 85% from food alone. So they're functioning in here. Imagine me sitting down with an athlete showing that. So your recovery is there. That's your potential. You had the omega-3, you know, and that fits in the same category. Well, what does that mean? Insufficiencies, just like the kid example I gave you, has an undete undetectable starting point. You don't know where that breakdown is already starting. And it begins an insidious progression that physically, so when you're 50, you have osteoporosis. And by the way, almost half the population over 60 has osteoporosis, and it's 100% preventable, 90% anyway from lack of calcium, lack of vitamin D and all of that. So which is why now they have calcium amounts on every label of food. It will manifest as sickness and injury. So I'm working with an athlete. All you're doing is setting yourself up from injury if I don't get you into here. Stress later in life or what we call early aging. So I have one job, inexpensively move you there within the calories to promote leanness. A vitamin, mineral, and omega-3 and the right amount of protein daily. 
And we're talking about maybe 60 cents a day. And I can save you money on the protein because if you're going to use a protein source, like a powder, like one of ours, add it to your regular food sources, you'll probably save 20 to $30 a month in groceries per person in the household. So that's what our goal is right there. The function of a low dose, very inexpensive, complete multi, no hat that it has all the known under consumed nutrients is to offer potential for all vitamin dependent systems to operate at full capacity in the creation, maintenance of human structure, function and health and recovery. So here's the little thing here that gets everybody out of their seats in a big lecture. Okay, so let's, let's put it all together. Prevention before cure. The goal is to play to the end. So first of all, keep moving. Good news you're here in the gym. That's it's an easy conversation to have all of those people with me, right? A healthy weight, because that's an easy thing to do once I got you here. And you're just going to eat the best you can. You're not going to eat perfect. I don't, it's impossible to eat perfect. We don't even know what perfect is. Eat the best you can, and we're going to fill your gaps to top off your nutrition. So here's fat. This is all driven by real algorithms. I want you to know that. These are all, re all real algorithms. Every study is live in this thing. In the USA Today, the average lifespan is 76.8 years, which is embarrassing. That's 50 compared to worldwide. 76.8. And it's gone backwards for the first time in our in, in history. Um, so bottom line is that a health span uh, before everybody's on drugs are no longer dependent is 68. Play span is what we're talking about. The average person stops doing what they love to do. Not you, but what they love to do about 35 because they get overweight at that point. Neck hurts, knees hurt when they start to move and they kind of give up. And these are facts. And those facts are based on the fact that they're following the recommendations that you give them and I give them by 40%. And we know that by 40%, especially the diet side. Well, watch this. So you take this, you fill gaps from the beginning, but let's just forget about the beginnings so that we have that here. But if we correct vitamin, mineral, and omega-3 levels every day to the RDA and the World Health Organization numbers, starting with the prenatal, which we've already discussed, along with proper protein intake, it would have a long-term cumulative effect. One good turn deserves another, right? You can help control your weight, you know, you can stress better, all of these things. So watch this. Here's the projected increase, all driven by real algorithms, projected increase in health and play span based on lifespan. So how long you live and the percentage adherence to the things we're talking about, activity and nutrition. Ready? If they live to be 85 and only follow what we tell them to do 50, which would jump it up 10%. They came in the gym, they're taking their multi. Look at that. These are facts. I have now gotten their health span very close, and I've added 20 years to their activity. If it, they live to be 90 and tell, follow 60% of what we tell them with the nutrition, filling gaps, and so forth, and they're in the gym still working or exercising, 75% and live to be 95, basically you're there, independent pretty much your whole life, because this is good enough here in your health span. But here, you're still riding the bike a little bit and doing those things. 85%, these are all, again, real algorithms, Follow 85%, live to be 100. Look at that, 95% there. I mean, bottom line is this is where we can and should be. The example I gave you earlier. Now, you can't start this when you're 60 years old. So that's why I put this last note. So I did have someone jump up in the audience one day after watching this lecture. It's a little longer than this, but they jumped up and they go, hey, is it too late for me now? And I go, well, you can't just start filling your gaps and everything's going to be good. Let me stave it off the bad stuff a little bit later. But the earlier you start, the truer the numbers. Now you know why it's so important for you to get to your people now. And the cost is nothing when it gets right down to it. So that's what it is. Your complete multi, we just talked about. Wound to tomb, that is not negotiable. Calcium, if you need an extra calcium, it doesn't fit in a multivitamin. That's why we actually put a little extra in our shakes. So you probably get enough that way. But if you don't, you're going to have to take a calcium supplement. That's why they now put it by law. Every label has calcium content in it. Super important, right? Because you read those labels. And then at uh, five to 600 milligrams a day of omega-3s, we just don't eat it. You can look at your plate, though. So if you're eating four servings of fish a week, you're good to go. You don't need to take an extra unless you're an athlete. Now, my other son is actually a professional fighter, so I raised a violent family, as you can tell here. Um, they, uh, they all, all the fighters take four omegas a day for recovery, and there's a reason for that for athletes. We're talking about general health. If you're eating four servings of fish, you don't need it. All right, and then protein, one gram per pound to stave off the inevitable. The older you get, the more protein you need. That's why this works for older people even more than it does for younger people. 
And make sure you take one shot before your workout, one shot after, so you recover better and you can do your activities longer. So that's the number. And this will save you $20 a month on groceries, which will far more pay for your multivitamin and everything else. And there you go. You got it all done. So this is a simple, inexpensive, here's your take home here, simple, inexpensive addition to our training and coaching that gives the potential to change a person's life. We have clubs that include this in their memberships, just a multi and an omega. They'll include the memberships, but it's a premier membership because health is the domain of nutrition. And you have a, we have a chance to really change the world at that particular point. Done. So here's your little summary on that. We moved everybody in here, very simple, to help them play till end of days. Okay, on that note, here's a great way of presenting this. So this is kind of the ending thing for all of you. Now, if going in the future, when you pick your supplement of the month, as we pick on different supplements that you guys want, or, or, or you're promoting that month, like whether it be protein powders, whether it be multis, we'll do a completely different thing with the scripts from all the top trainers on how you present this properly. But here's how you present this right now. No results left in the gym. That's what I would always tell everybody from, from day one. So let's, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, you know, thanks here, you're in the right place. Let's take your results beyond diet and support a less than perfect diet. And let's take it beyond exercise alone. This package will maximize daily recovery, exercise induced results. So you feel and perform better daily and see a change in your body weekly. We're going to feed your muscles, skin, brain, and other important tissues while starving body fat by incorporating targeted nutrients with little to no calories. And that's the buzzword, that last one there. All right. So. All my programs, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, include necessary dietary supplements to support whatever your fitness goal is, whether it's performance, body fat reduction, maintenance, this simple, easy formula right here will support that. We have some other stuff, but at least this will support it. Your multi, because every human system, your cardio, energy, muscular, brain, immune, skeletal, stress, are vitamin dependent, we need to make sure that your systems are operating at 100% without adding calories compared to 60 to 85% of diet alone. Now, here's the other part here. The reason I put this in here, because it's a big sell. It's not available in stores. This is a four-in-one, which would cost you a fortune to try to put it together if you did go to a store with high C&D, everybody's buzzword right there, call that out, but specifically for athletes and exercisers. Don't anybody by saying that because they're sitting across from you in a gym. So that's, they, are, they are one or both. And the most recommended multivitamin, all of uh, high school, college, pro Olympic sports. And by the way, that's why we use it with our families and clients. And then there's your protein. We have a, a multi for every, every, every life phase and every lifestyle here, vegan, whatever. And we have protein powders for every diet preference, every lifestyle. And so always start out with delicious. People buy on taste, delicious high protein drinks to directly feed your muscles, speed recovery and control appetite. Accelerate goals. Mindful, your next workout is only as good as your recovery from the last. A couple little buzz sentences here. That's why I print this out. You can use this for your training for your trainers to get the people started in the right direction. We have the best third-party tested protein sources that fit any lifestyle, and they're not available in stores, which is always a big part. All right, so let's just close this up. Here it is, right on the hour. Bottom line is this: so when, at the end of the like, at the end of the interview, they'll say, "Okay, how will you know if you ever save the world?" with fitness. I go, this is how I know. When I see every kitchen pantry, whether it be in this country, this country, or America, along with all, all the other essentials that we need to feed our families and take care of our families, and I see this in there, all the things we just talked about, when I see these, and maybe they're not even using the calcium because they're getting enough from their diet, because you can see that, and there's even the omega, maybe they're getting that. That's all, I'm all good, but this is unavoidable at this point, and when you do that, if I see that there, I'll know I've made a difference and I'll die happy. Now, I'll never know if I don't save the world because I'm gonna die trying. I'm here for the, I'm here for the end to the end. And then of course we third party test it all. So here's what the future of fitness looks like. The future is this, fitness is the primary preventative side of healthcare. Imagine a world of healthcare versus disease care. Imagine, right? So you have a health cabinet. Everyone's got a health cabinet of exactly what we were talking about. That's what you got a health cabinet. Medicine cabinet, okay, that's okay. Let's put, that's not the front and center. So you just got the simple inexpensive stuff right there rather than this. 
If you look at a health camera for the average household, when you got people in that household over 30 or 40, they have cholesterol lowering drugs, depression, sleep aids, thyroid, blood pressure lowering. I mean, yeah, you got bone support stuff. You got everything in there. Most of that's unavoidable. Most of that is avoidable. So prevention, you can pay me, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, a very little now before the cure approach, or you can pay a whole lot later and more than just money. And that's it. And to prove that, you can see the supplement sale. I put this in here. This is just for your marketing departments and so forth to look at. Don't miss this window. I mean, the, the supplements are going through the I mean, they already have, but we're, we're talking about a, a quarter trillion dollar industry that has got a KGAR that is insane right now because people are paying attention. They're listening to you, getting it done. And when you have the best products in the world, you've got it. And these are the top selling products in the world right here, as far as the multivitamins are still number one. Now you can probiotics are like number two. These are all the things, powders, and they're growing at a phenomenal rate. And of course you have one that supports all those categories. And we have marketing materials for everything. This is an example. Whatever you're promoting that particular month, we have everything. A quick video, you know, whether it be me or whether it be Kat or someone else doing a, a two-minute video or a one-minute video on every product. You can share that right from your phone, send it to Russia. You can send it wherever you want. And when people buy anything, it goes underneath you and your gym gets all the revenue share. So know that we have all this. If you're promoting a, a product, you'll have a one page or you can promote. You can share it on social media. We have simple science behind it all. You know, so all of these things are available. Infographics, you know, share them on your social media. And so we've, we've got it all. You know, make sure that you take advantage of all your marketing stuff. So there you go. Let's open it up. We nailed that right at the 60 minutes. I'm going to stop sharing. There we go. So we'll open this up to not just Q&A, some, some, some takeaways. If you guys have time, hopefully, you know, uh, again, all of these are generally an hour. This kickoff is an hour all by itself before we get into the Q&A. So that this is one that usually we always tell people to schedule 90 minutes for this so we can spend as much time as you want with all. But after that, then we do about 40 minutes of content and we do takeaways, we do shares and we do uh, some great Q&A going forward. But this was, this was your big one and I hope you enjoyed it. You know, and I hope you got something from it. Hey, Neil. Yes. Hey, this is Pedro from TTS Clouds in Connecticut. Pedro, hey. to see you. I didn't know you were on. We were on. We were, we were up secure yeah. before. Hey. There's Noah. Well, thank you for having the presentation. It was a great recap and really uh, just filling in the gaps, if you will, to what we need to be doing. But I do have a question. Uh, we see a lot of marketing in terms of like Nature Bay, where they have the USB seal of third party testing. What can you tell us about the USP and how do you, you know, what do you tell your clients? Yeah. Okay, good. So, and then you touched on the one that I wanted someone to give me that takeaway. So let's see if someone comes up with the answer to that after, but I got to explain the USP thing to you all. Okay. Can that, and that is a really common situation. Now, USP, United States Pharmacopeia, it tells the manufacturer how to make a product properly. It tells you how to draw it from the raw material, how to dry it properly, how to put it into a certain matrix with their tablet. So all that means is they made it properly if it gets a USP seal. What does it not mean? Anybody get it? What, is it, what does it not mean? Does the dosage. Words, is that, yeah, dosage. It, does, it doesn't mean it works. It means it was made properly. It doesn't mean it works. And that's the big part about USPs, useless. Perfect. Yep. There you go. A simple answer for him. Now, that's great. USP you got one part of the equation, Mrs. Jones. And that part was the fact that they made it according to directions. And by the way, USP is not always the best way to make it. Uh, manufacturers that are far beyond uh, what we call the public sector, they're in the private sector, they can make it better, actually, than USP, than the USP directions. USP is a, you know, a public uh, thing that just, you know, you got people that are, you know, very underpaid that are working there. So they're not going to have the advanced science, but at least it gives you a self, a satisfaction that is not contaminated, which would be a good thing. All right. Great. What else? Good one. What else we got out there? Right, another question. And then I'm going to ask for that big takeaway, which he kind of, Pedro kind of spoiled it, but we'll get it anyway. Yes, Alex. Okay. There you go. I see you. Is that Alex? 
Oh yeah, no, I'm Eric. I work for Alex. Oh, Eric. Okay, um, sorry. So I have a question in regards to um, the oil capsules, omega three, uh, specifically. I was wondering um, why we use by we I mean dot fit um, a soy or vegetable oil. Sometimes we have those rather than uh, like a flaxseed oil, something that might be a little less um, inflammatory or an anti-inflammatory. And I don't know if if this is the right forum for that. But just wondering yeah. your thought on that and, and why we go that route of vegetable versus a yeah. flaxseed or something. The, the whole oil in uh, the omega-3 is from extracted from a fish, right? From a, from a uh, Alaskan uh, fish. So that the amount of there in a, in a gelatin capsule is insignificant. There's nothing there, right? And and by the way, there is no zero, and there's an insignificant. It wouldn't cause an issue with the, the tiniest insect. That's how little there is, which is why there's no amount of soy in a capsule, right? There's no amount lit, writ, written on the bottle. The same thing with our. Yeah, everybody should know this, and that's, I'm glad you kind of put that up there. There's no soy in any of our powders. There's no soy in any of our protein powders. There's no soy in any of our. Um, uh, amino triple X's or amino formulas. No, no. It's called soy lecithin. And soy lecithin is from the fat of the soybean. There's zero allergies from it. It's on the FDA website. We'll tell you zero allergies. So it's a, it's a common FAQ that you're asking there. So there's nothing there. There's no amounts. We put soy in nothing. Now we have soy protein and about, I'd say 50% of our bars have halfway and half soy. And for a reason, because soy protein has benefits that no other protein in the world has. In fact, I don't know if you guys don't know this, but soy protein is the only protein, and that includes whey, that has its own legal health benefit label. It can, can lower cholesterol, it can lower, and, and as we know, what's happened here in the US, soy has been demonized uh, you know, by, by, by you know, by estrogen and, and so forth, where, as we know, in countries that exclusively eat soy for their proteins, have no breast cancer, they don't have any problems at all. Uh, but that's so we know it's, it's not that, it's everything else we do. And soy gets thrown into a, a jump. And a little bit of soy for everybody on a protein standpoint is probably a good thing. I'm not saying you need to. I'm just saying it's probably a good thing, unless your doctor's telling you, you need to stay 100% away because you've got this history of some weird estrogen receptors in your body and you're taking a ton of soy, but there's no doctor in the world that would ever tell you not to take at least one serving of soy a day. That would be like uh, shameful, uh, number one. And again, there's no servings of soy in anything that we make, except for some of our bars. It's soy lecithin, which is fat and every powder you buy in a store you know, whether it be a muffin mix, whether it be a cake mix, whether it be anything you're buying, there you have to have soy less than or it won't stay uniform. It has to stay uniform. And it's an infinitesimal amount, which is why there are no amounts. So that was a really good question and, and really set up a lot of stuff. Yes. Good. Uh, can I just add to that a little bit? Yep. With the flaxseed oil, you know, you do get omega-3s from flaxseed, but the conversion is very poor in the body. So you do have to have a marine source, whether it be fish or algae or something like that to get the benefits of your omegas. Yeah, the, the, the problem with the uh, not, again, we have vegans out there that can't use our omega, yeah. right? Because it's coming yeah. from a fish. And yeah. we do have a link that will take you to a place where we believe that, that omega-3 from a vegetable source is pretty good, not bad. But it's got a high level of DHA because you can't make any DHA at all, literally from flaxseed. And without DHA, then of course you're missing the whole boat. Yep. So that's why you've got to be very careful about what you buy when it comes to that. And that's in your PDSRG. I actually put a link in there. So, but uh, about, as far as that, if you're a vegan. I don't have a big enough market yet, you guys. So the reason we're not making a vegan uh, omega-3, I just don't have, I, I, I'd be throwing out you know, a million because you got to make a million to get a cost you know, effective. And if I, I'd be throwing out half a million before we sold it out, before it expired. So that's the only reason. Otherwise, I'd, I'd love to make it for everybody. What else we got out Questions. there? That was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. Good question. Very good one. Yeah. What about your team, Benny or um, Joanne or Rachel, Eli? Any, any of you guys have takeaways or questions for us? Maybe something you learned today you didn't know? 
specifically just talk. Um, I'm not a trainer. I'm actually our marketing director. And the reason I hopped on today was, um, A, I need to drink more milk. So thank you for that. Um, but, <laughs> but personally, um, I think it's important to get an education. A lot of times we have our staff or trainers specifically will say, well, we can't sell it or how do we sell it? Or most importantly, the boss wants to know why it's not selling, right? So that ends up becoming my job. Um, that being said, you did talk about some interesting things towards the end about supplements or products of the month and having scripts and those types of things. And I was wondering where I can access that information since I'm not boots on the ground like everyone else probably here, um, but in ways to support our staff and getting them the tools and resources as well to help the consumer and their clients understand uh, yeah. the products better. Yeah. So, so I'll answer that, Neil. We can yeah. send you anything you want for any product you want in terms of marketing assets, digital okay. and principal. Now, uh, we work well, for, um, I work for Crunch, so I know we have our own little portal with some stuff in it. Okay, yeah. Um, but there's no like yeah. database with scripts or anything. That's something I could just send a request to maybe you or something. Correct. You can send that. Are you Crunch Corp? Are you, Rachel, are you Crunch Corporate or a Crunch no, a we're franchise? Up. We, I'm the Fuchs Pacifico franchises. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, but I'm glad she asked that. So for all of you here, that was the purpose of getting all of you know, sort of the, the single operators or the smaller uh, franchise. We do a completely, for the UFC, which, you know, I'm fortunate to be partners and you know, like UFC and Crunch Corporate. And so we're all sister companies, all of us, you know, we've been together, you know, as you saw from the timeline since day one. So there are a lot of, we do, uh, they have their own webinar because they're promoting one product or one group of products that month. So the tr so they have everybody on at that point and we do the scripts for them, the presentation script. So that's what you're asking for here. Going forward, everyone we do, I just threw this one at the end because this was just the basis there. I just threw that one script in there. You will have that for every single product. And we have those now today. And when you're promoting your supplement of the month, rather than overloading the trainers with everything at one time, we kind of do it that way down the road, uh, you know, after they've gone through their certification. So we've got everything you need and Kat will be able to fill you, get, get you whatever you guys want. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. And yeah. then you guys. Because we realize that, you know, I mean, the most important thing, Rachel and everybody else here, and the idea of this seminar, this one here, this kickoff is to get the buy-in. To get you to, you know, hey, listen, this is your resource. If you don't trust your resource, it's not going to do any good to tell you how to sell something. That's unacceptable in my eyes, right? You've got, you've got to trust the resource and believe it. So now, wow, okay, I don't, I don't have to do so much more. They're going to do it all and take care of it. And that's what, that's what our job is to do. So that was the importance of spending all the time we did today, getting you to understand what's behind the scenes here for you. And now, bang, I'm going to give you a presentation for every single thing you need. Because not everybody needs all this stuff. There's just certain things that individuals need and you'll have everything you need for that. Perfect, thank you. You bet. We will be hosting a monthly uh, session like this for you guys and it will cover a specific product or it will cover a bundle, let's say immunity bundles or muscle gain or whatever that is. So you'll get an invite every single month to attend and then we'll, we'll be recording these as well. So look out for that. Yeah. And Pedro, so let's catch up next week sometime. Give me a buzz, you guys. All right. Perfect. So we'll a bit. Yeah. But I'd love to Absolutely. find out how, how things are going with you guys. Well, yeah. I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, so, in the area that we live now today with the whole pandemic, we know that um, mental health has really um, been an issue, especially creating more awareness in that industry. Can you tell us and give us a little bit more in details of how we can use supplementation to aid in lowering stress and also help improving the individual's mindset so that I can continue within the play span aspect, as you were mentioning in your presentation? Just that alone, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, we actually do a, a recovery bundle, you know, for exactly that, recovering, you know, from daily stress. And of course, the superior antioxidant, your multivitamin, your omega-3, and if it works into your budget, make sure you have the ultra probiotic. That's really the bundle. That bundle, you do that daily, and life's going to change for you in 30 or 45 days when everything gets saturated like that. So that's really, that's from a standpoint of nutrition, that's, that's basically, that's what you got. 
to be able to do that. I can't change the rest of the world around you. You know, you know, your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your spouse. I, I can't, those are things I can't change, but I can make it easier for you to handle it. <laughs> so yeah, and that's some of those packages. We have pretty good lecture on that recovery one that kind of covers that, how it yep. works for stress. Yep. And then more specifically to address that, there are certain micronutrients that directly influence um, your mental health, right? The brain. So you can have vitamin D deficiency or insufficiency that can affect it. Obviously your omegas affect inflammation as well as brain health. Having iron deficiency or insufficiency can affect your energy levels and your mood, as well as a number of the B vitamins. So to Neil's point, you want to make sure you have optimal levels of all those things. And most people fall short, most definitely of vitamin D, omegas if you're not eating two to four servings of fatty fish per week. And then if you're omitting or, or following a specialized diet, you may not be getting all the B vitamins. So you know, that's why we have these bundles and the place band because we cover our bases that way but you do you know you might want to pay special attention to vitamin d getting your blood levels checked and iron as well yeah on that and i think <laughs> the, the other one I mean, yeah that's another good point so when you when you so all of you here so let's say there's let's say i'll make this up a few of you have not taken a complete multi before so now you start tomorrow taking your active multi, dot fit active multi because i think most of you were in that age group or of your or a women's act or, or the women's multi you start taking it. You don't just take it and go, oh, God, I feel, I can't wait to squat. I can't wait to go, you know, that's not the way it works. What's happened is your body is down-regulated to the vitamins and minerals that you've given it through food. It's down-regulated and that's what the body does. It gets rid of all of the enzymes that are in every cell. If it doesn't have a spark plug available, a vitamin mineral that makes that enzyme work in that cell, it just gets rid of the cell. It gets rid, I mean, it gets rid of that enzyme that's making it happen. So now instead of having a million enzymes in this one cell, cell, this one tissue, you're down to about, I would say half a million. And so your body's functioning at that at every level. But when you start taking a multivitamin, now you have, you're supplying spark plugs. All the enzyme, the enzyme, the cells are going, wow, there's vitamin minerals. I can build back the enzymes. They slowly build back the enzymes. And you're going to take four to six weeks for your body to take in all those cells now are popping back up. We see this in iron deficiency. We see it in B vitamin deficiency, Kat just pointed out. When we give you these things, it takes that long before your, your cells are all functioning again. So here's what I always have to tell people that are like me or like any, like Pedro or some of the people that I know who've taken their vitamin and mineral for pretty much their whole life. Uh, I tell you this, if you want to find out how it's working, stop taking it. Stop taking it. And within 30 days, 45 days from your food alone, you start down regulating and you go, God, I'm not sleeping as well as I used to. And you know what? My appetite, I'm craving foods I never even really liked before uh, and then, or, or stress, the way you handle stuff, whatever you'll see. And then you'll go, ah, oh, that's right. I stopped taking my vitamin and mineral. And that's the only way you're going to know what it's actually doing for you. So it's an experiment that I've had people do just for fun. You know, they don't like it, but they'll do it, you know, just to find out and you'll see. That, that was my follow up question in terms of developing Q questions or Q things in the future to for people to follow, like what they can't all get bio tests, they can't, can't all get blood right. tests. What else can you do other than stopping taking the medicine, the, uh, the supplements so that they can actually grade and, and see, track the progress? Like, yeah, but not sure. that's a good so one, no. though, because that, that'd be nice to have that kind of questionnaire before they start and what it's like 60 days later. And how they did that. that that's actually a pretty, a pretty good idea. I like that. You should incorporate that. I like that. Perfect. Because you're right. You're right. No one's going to get a blood test to find that stuff out. I just know what will happen. I read blood more than anybody. You know, I, I, I got to do that for all your top CEOs in the world. I read their blood. I'm under, you know, NDAs with them. And I'm the one that gives them their multi. No, that's all they use is ours. They don't use anything else. They don't need anything else. It tops everything off. You know, so you, you'll, you'll, they'll notice that also, but you don't need that. You just take it and you're going to make up for whatever differences are there. Perfect. So if you can yeah. send out some cues we could use on the field, so we can tell our clients, look for this particular effect so that you can track a little bit better. So you can see that yes. it actually work. Yes, so that would be the way to do it. That makes a lot of sense all the way around. What else we got out there? Anybody else there from... Eric's group out there, anybody else we haven't heard from that want to just pop something up in there? I know you guys got a 
go out there and start training people and work it, work the business and everything else. But any other thing, and by the way, you'll have cats in my email, neil at dotfit.com, N-E-A-L, you got cat at dotfit.com. And we're very responsive. We've got a whole team around us. So we're able to do things very quickly. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't exist without you. And I kind of mentioned that earlier. Uh, you know, we can sit here in the ivory tower and talk about how we're going to save the world. But if I don't have you actually doing it, executing it, and I don't learn anything until I find out. And Pedro, he, he, a couple of these guys, you've been to my ranch and, you know, we hang out. I learn from them. I learn as much from them as they've ever learned from me because you're in the trenches. You're making it happen. And we've got to make what we do here easier for you to execute and talk about, which is one of the reasons we do the scripts and we get best practices and try to pass them on to you. And any kind of you want a live visit, you know, I've got people everywhere. We can make sure we try to go in there to help out any, any way we can. Because again, at the end of the day, if I'm going to save the world, I, I can't tell you how bad I need you guys to get it done. Very cool. All right, anybody else? Anybody else, that it? Last chance, any takeaways or questions for us? And we'll see you guys next month. Look out yeah, for an next invitation. Month. Yeah, we'll get together and we can throw one out there for you or kind of get feedback from all of you. Maybe you want to do, you want to do proteins or, you know, any one of the top sellers do just that. You know, so whatever, whatever makes sense. I'll let you guys, cattle work with you on that. I all saw right, someone everybody. come in. Was someone going to say something? I thought I saw someone come in. Okay. I think you saw someone Maybe. leave. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Happy Friday, right, well, listen, guys. Thanks, Thank everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great see you weekend. Next month. Have a great Bye. weekend. See you guys.